I guess it'd be fair to say over the years in the northern part of the uh, of the GRDC region, we certainly haven't been using fungicides willy-nilly. Occasionally we do, and 2016 holds out as a really big one. But you know, even in uh, in the in the 80s and the 90s with our with our grain crops, we never used much fungicides. A, they were very expensive for what we were yielding, and B, we didn't know much about them. So we've really been a late starter with our fungicide usage right across the northern part of uh, of the GRDC region of Australia. But of course that changes, doesn't it? Because we're using them more and more because of these diseases that are coming in because of the of the green bridge and uh, the varieties that we have and the uh, and the spread of the diseases we're getting. And of course, uh, our pulse crops are no different. We've got diseases, yes, we've got diseases within our pulse crops uh, that we can't control. They're just bacterial diseases that we can't do much about. However, we are using more fungicides these days in our pulse crops. And uh, we need to be very recognizant of the fact that they are there for a, a, to do a job, usually prevention. So you get it on before the before the spreading event is the key to the for a fungicide. And of course you rotate. It's just the same as our herbicides. It's just the same as our insecticides. There's different group actions of uh, fungicides and we need to, to look after them too. Because one of these days, you know, 10 or 15 years time, we might be in all sorts of trouble with our fungicides. So we need to, to look after them. We need to apply them correctly at the right rate, at the right timing, a good application. And of course, as we've been saying all day, look after that withholding period as well with your fungicide usage. Crop rotation angle is something that we teach in all our uh, pulse crop courses that we do with Pulse Australia and, and uh, GRDC. Rotation is not just about weed control, isn't it? Like trying to get away from different weeds. It's also about crop residue and the disease that they can harbour. And of course, a classic is, is soybeans with Phytophthora. Phytophthora is still the number one killer of, uh, of our, some of our pulse crops, be it chickpeas or be it, be it lucerne or be it soybeans in Australia. It really does nail them. When it's, when it's over wet, those little low spores get going in the soil and that's that's it for a plant, no matter it's two inches high or 22 inches high. So that crop rotation is very important. Mung beans, on the other hand, don't get phytophthora, but they get other things like fusarium and stuff like that, and that can also be carried over in the soil. So crop rotation is good for uh, weed control, but it's also good for disease control that may may carry over in the soil particles, may carry over in the stubble for the next crop. And so while the temptation is there because of the high prices for a pulse crop, you've really got to examine your soil, examine what's going on in your soil, examine what uh, problems there were with disease in the previous crop before you commit to another grain crop like the same one you had before. So we know rotation works across all our cropping uh, desires in, in Australia and we should adhere to it in pulse crops as well.